All right, let me show you what you need to do for your lab. So uh, take out the graph matching activity. And uh, when you are going to go to the website, you can either type it in or you can go to my website, mrhavis.com, and I put the link on the front page, uh, very first thing you see. So just come here, see the Moving Man link. Uh, if you just click on this, it's going to ask you to download something, which is okay, that's what you want. Uh, so keep that, and then we want to launch it. You have to use the netbooks for this. iPads won't work, phones won't work, it's using Java. And you can see here it says it's uh, asking me for permission to run it. Okay, so here we have the Moving Man, and it's a simulation through uh, FET, which is uh, University of Colorado, they make physics simulations. So I go into that website, which is linked from mine. A lot of fun little simulations there to play with when you're bored on the weekend, you know, and you just want to do some physics. Who doesn't? So we take the, this guy right here, and we can move him. That's the moving man. Pretty exciting. Shows his position, velocity, acceleration. Perhaps better though, let's click on the charts tab. Now it's going to draw the motion graph for his motion. So as we drag him to the right in the positive direction at a constant speed, you can see that his position graph, he's moving to the right at a fairly constant speed. This slope is pretty constant, and now he's stationary. That's what we would expect. Uh, velocity, uh, we would expect a fairly constant positive velocity. I was trying to keep it constant, uh, but it's not perfect. You have to use your imagination a little bit. And then back to zero where we are stationary. The acceleration graph is going to look like a mess, so don't even worry about that one. Uh, another way you can do this is you can take these arrows and you can move the arrows. So maybe I want his velocity to be minus 6 or so. If I jump his velocity to minus 6, and I can see what happens. I can see the position time graph and what happens with that. And then he runs into the wall. Uh, you can move those walls if you want to. Uh, or maybe I want to mess with position. And, oh, I'm running out of graph here. Well, I can start over. So I could just say reset all. Or I could just say clear. Either way. Uh, so I could take the position. Maybe I want to start at 5 meters, more or less. And I want an initial velocity of negative 6 meters per second, more or less. I could always type in what I want. Uh, and then I'll say play to see what's going on there. And I can see him moving, see what the graphs look like. Uh, I could change the graphs as we're going. I could switch the direction by changing his velocity from negative to positive. Or maybe I just grab the arrow for the position and start moving him myself to see what kind of graphs I get. One thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to make your graph look like a graph that I provide for you in the lab. So play around with it a bit, get a feel for how the actual motion of the man uh, is reflected on the graphs so that you can match the graphs that I've shown you. And uh, take turns with it. Uh, not too many people on a computer because those screens are kind of small.